Hi, it's Andy here from Build the Best Website. So I just want to give you a quick heads up about something called SEO Quake. You can see up here it's called SEO Quake. Put a search in onto Google and you'll come up with this page here. Now what it is, it will actually stick itself to your browser bar at the top. You can see it along here, info, PR, blah, blah, rank, Google, uh, sorry, Alexa rank there, Facebook, tweet, uh, Twitter. Uh, density diagnosis and so on you may have seen this before but it's called SEO quake and whether you're on Google uh, Google Chrome or um, whatever you can you can get it or Firefox like I am you can get it downloaded for that particular uh, uh, see as you see here SEO quake for uh, add-ons for Firefox and there's one there for Chrome so go ahead download it and let's have a quick look and see what it does let's go into a a post I've done uh, a few weeks ago on here and have a look and what it would do apart from one thing and another along the top here you'd have to get to see what these these mean yourself I haven't got much time on this uh, video so we'll just have a look at diagnosis at the end which is really useful now here's the post and we click on diagnosis and this post is going to come up and it tells me what the URL is at the top which is the the um, my website with the uh, the slug of the name of the uh, post afterwards, blogging with WordPress. It's quite happy with the length of characters. It gives you green ticks and red crosses if it doesn't like it. Now this is okay with the title, but uh, blogging with WordPress, build the best websites. Okay, the meta description that you've given, the, or that I've put in here, it's length 211 characters. And I know that shouldn't be more than 160. And it, if you hit show advice, it does tell you where you're going wrong and why you've got the red cross. So if you follow the advice here, as it says here, descriptions should be 70 to 160 characters. Well, we're at 211 on it, so I've blown that one out. So I'll have to go back and change that one. The idea is to get all greens if you can, all right? So we'll go back. Um, it's not very happy with the keywords. There aren't enough keywords, four keywords. There should be more keywords, and the length of the keywords is too long. So they're quite long-winded keywords so again um, I didn't do the SEO properly on this one I just got this out quite quickly uh, same with headings uh, there are, it'll show me that there are too many uh, h1 headings as in here Men I don't know why it comes up with these it's doing something wrong uh, or I'm doing something wrong menu blogging with WordPress I'm not putting h1 tags on those they're just coming up automatically so but uh, anyway, images. We found 11 images on this page. One alt attributes are empty or missing. So basically, don't forget, we talked about this before. You've got to put your um, uh, keywords alt tags in. Okay, that got a plus. Excuse me a minute. Okay, the text to HTML ratio is 15.34. If you look at the advice on that, it says... Um, the ratio to text to HTML codes is somewhere between 50 and 50 percent. So, okay, we need to have more than 15.34 percent. So it's saying put some more keywords and writing in there. So, okay, that needs beefing up a bit. Most everything else is not bad. Robots, well, I'm not that bothered about that. Um, everything else is a plus. Microform, that's Dublin Core. Um, if you get really get deep down into SEO, you, you do something about those, but quite frankly, most of us don't have much time for that. Um, and then so on. But the most important things obviously are up here with uh, your descriptions for SEO purposes, your keywords and your headings for SEO purposes, So and your images down here, headings and images. Um, so make sure, and your text to HTML mail. Just make sure that you've got all greens on these if you can and you should be good to go. If you've got greens down to this bit here where it says website compliance, you should be okay. So anyway, that's SEO Quake. It's always worth looking at because then you can also look at your competition sites and see what they're doing and what their diagnosis is like and where they rank and so on. So just go and get it. SEO Quake it's called up here. SEOquake.com Google it and uh, download it for your browser. And good luck. Have fun. Speak to you soon. All right. Don't forget, get back to me if I can help you. Thanks very much. Bye. Speak to you soon.